Hello. Right, Andre. Excuse me. I'm a bit snotty. Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. Hello, mate. Hey. Hey, you all right? Hello. So I'm just bending down with my boy. Hey. Hello. I'm trying to coax him so you can see him. Who's my little boy? No, he doesn't want to. You'll have to see him another day, sorry. Um. <sighs> yeah, so welcome to jasonnewland.com or I should really say jasonchats.com. Yeah, jasonchats.com. That's the website. So it's weird to not say jasonnewland.com because I've been so used to saying it for the last 12 years. So jasonchats.com. That's the address for my vlog, this vlog, this video, journal, diary, blah, whatever you want to call it. So today, <sighs> I'm tired. I didn't give up smoking. I really, 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 really had the proper intention when I went to sleep last night or whatever time in the morning it was I went to bed to not smoke today, really, 100% didn't quite work out that way so I ended up going and getting some tobacco and for the last hour <sighs> I have had heartburn so it's a bit annoying I don't know if you can see well you can see I've got headphones in it's not because I'm listening to music and not actually paying attention it's because I'm using this microphone the hope of this is that it just be better quality sound or it'd be a little bit louder than it normally is when I make videos so that's it really I can't actually hear myself in my headphones but it is louder it's a louder recording because I'm closer to the microphone as opposed to being like really close to the camera. I don't really want to be too close to the camera because I don't think it's fair on you. That's why. So today I've been working on my, it's been a weird day actually. I woke up and <sighs> Uh, I woke up. Whenever I go, oh, I feel the urge to say Bisto. Um, it's an old advert that we used to have on television here. Oh, Bisto. Anyway, I got up, worked on my website. been embedding my videos from Vimeo onto or into my website. I've been doing that for two days now because there's 700 or so videos. It takes a while or 800, I don't know. But I've been doing that this evening as well and I've lost track of where I am. So I've given up. I've just stopped doing it. I've left what's on there, but I just I have to think to organize it another time. I got bored with it all. So I made tonight, I made a hypnotic buffet. So that's cool. I did one of them. Talked about guilt and stuff like that. With the hypnotic buffets, it's just me. It's recording, audio recording. I don't make videos of that. 
and it's just me just chatting about my life about the week I do them every Monday release them every Monday uh, and I just kind of just talk about what's going on and then I hope that it leads into something uh, so that's kind of what they are been doing them for a while started doing hypnotic buffets I think a year or two ago but now I'm doing them like regular regular every week so maybe like 52 a year I worked out all by myself 52 weeks so what else is going on took Andre out for a walk it was so cold it was actually, it felt colder today than it did when it was snowing at the weekend. It was so cold. Uh, I thought it was going to be warm because it was sunny outside all day. So I go out about five o'clock, something like that, thinking it's going to be mild. didn't expect it to be warm wasn't dark outside yet but I thought it would be alright and it's like oh it's so cold proper proper cold really oh by the way if you think why have I got my eyes half closed it's because I'm tired that's why <sighs> oh. I'd probably be a bit more lively if I did these in the morning but if I did them in the morning um what would I talk about? Because I haven't had the day. The morning would be just, I'd be talking about dreams or maybe, I suppose I could talk about the day before. I don't know. So really today, I've not done much. Uh, my, I've got a niece, a new niece. Don't know if I mentioned that. Who was born at the weekend. And she's, being born prematurely so she's not uh, she's not well enough or she's not big enough or to go home I'm not quite sure what the situation is but uh, she's I've been told that she's she's okay so um, you know so I'm hoping that's all good and I'm looking forward to seeing her for the first time soon uh, other than that Today I didn't really feel in the mood to do anything. I really just wanted to go back to bed, which is what I did. Woke up, did a few bits, you know, on the internet, had my breakfast, and I just went back to bed for yeah, a couple of hours. And then I got up. These vlogs are going to be so boring unless I start doing something. I have to start doing like exciting stuff, maybe, I don't know, doing some press-ups or uh, I did a crossword puzzle yesterday. Ooh, it was good. I don't, I don't do crossword puzzles. Yeah. Emotionally, I'm... A little bit flat, a little bit, a little bit fed up with, a little bit fed up with my with myself. I'm a bit fed up with certain aspects of my life. Um, last week I was all. Uh, I don't want to use the word excited, but I was um, very positive towards getting some voluntary work, voluntary work. So I applied, uh, and I'm, I'm interested in volunteering within the mental health 
um, sector. Uh, so my, I think an ideal place for me, if I could get a job or um, a voluntary position, would be working in a like a psychiatric ward, but as a volunteer, you know. Um, I did actually work in a psychiatric ward whilst I was at college. I, I got a job at the weekends and I didn't last very long there. But it wasn't so, it was more, I can't actually remember why I didn't, just couldn't get out, out of, I couldn't get out of bed basically to do it. It was a very early morning. It was an early start and it was also a long way away from where I lived, so it was an even earlier start. And on top of that, it was, I think like a 15 hour day. So it was, and it was two days in a row, Saturday and Sunday. 15, so it's 30 hours a week, which is really cool, like money wise, that was, it was a nice bit of money to come in, especially as I was at university. And, and I enjoyed the job, a bit boring, but I enjoyed it to a degree. Very interesting. Also a bit scary at times. Uh, definitely challenging. But I just, yeah. I don't think I was ready for it back then. Don't know if I'm ready for it now, but. I think that the thing about volunteering is it would be an opportunity to test those aspects of myself to see whether or not it's something that I'd like to do, maybe as a career. Well, I say career, but as a job. So I don't know. That's what I'm thinking about. The thing is, I don't know. I'm sure maybe other people out there have the same kind of thing. When it comes to volunteering, I want to do something that I am interested in. And maybe also something that uses some of my skills set that I might have. Which means I don't particularly want to go and volunteer and sit in an office, which is what happened when I volunteered at the hospital. Uh, I've reapplied to volunteer at a hospital, but um, I want to do something um, more suited to Andre, more suited to my interests. Um, I work in an office, I'm getting paid, and I don't mind a bit of administration work, you know, if, if that's part of the job. But if I'm volunteering, um, I might as well be doing something that I am going to benefit from. So yeah, so I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen there. I've got a, I've been invited this week to go along to a voluntary meeting, volunteers meeting where uh, some charities are going to come along and tell, tell us what they want and what they're looking for, what positions are available. And so that could be interesting. So I've got that this week. I'll tell you about it when it happens in it. Um, so, but I've lost my interest at the moment. Really lost my interest in it. And it's annoying, it's frustrating actually because I have these periods where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna get a position and a voluntary position lead to work and I'm going to do a degree in um, a master's degree in January with the Open University doing uh, mental health science and I still want to do that that starts in January it's a master's I've got to apply for it in June if I want to do it and it'll take me probably about three years to complete but I'll have a master's so I'll have two degrees then for master's and then I'll get a doctorate after that maybe and it's in a subject that I know about 
a subject that I'm interested in, a subject that I'm always interested in and have been interested in since I was very young. So that interest in mental illness and mental well-being and uh, disorders and various different things like that to do with the brain, the mind, behaviour, that has always interested me. Uh, Maybe because of myself, my own experiences, maybe because of childhood experiences, you know, that I've uh, witnessed when I was very young. Uh, A mixture of things, I guess. So yeah, I'm looking, I'd really like to do that but then it's a financial thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford to do the Open University course. So, I don't know. I'm thinking, and it's probably, I don't know, I'm thinking of getting some kind of fundraising page up for me to pay for all of the free hypnosis and the free video stuff and mp3s and podcasts and all that stuff that I do and help pay for my internet and pay for the upkeep you know like laptops when I need them and various software and all you know all the things I've had to pay out for and have to regularly pay out for each month to get a little bit of help with that from those that maybe like what I do or benefit from it or just enjoy it um, so I'm thinking about that. It's not something I'm going to do anytime soon, but something that I'm thinking about. Because it would be cool to be able to get certain things paid for, especially if I could get... Well, I'm just, the, the reason I'm just a little bit... a little bit worried about my benefits, because if they get stopped... Or when they get stopped, because it's going to change over to universal credit at some point soon. If I have to go, you know, six weeks without any money, I won't have to worry about my rent because it's council and they'll understand that the rent will be paid. So I'll be fine as long as I let them know what's going on. But bills, that's where the problem is. Food, of course. I guess I can go to the food bank and get a few bits from there um, because I won't have any money to buy any food. Bills like electric gas. I get bills every month so there's a potential I could extend that maybe and be late but it's pushing things a bit. But there's stuff that I have to pay otherwise I get cut off straight away internet if I don't pay the internet bill pretty much you know the day after or two days later the internet gets cut off so I won't have the internet and that's I think £40 a month the podcast each podcast costs money and as soon as you stop paying them the podcast gets reduced to a free one which means uh, some of them will just delete all the other stuff or they'll just you know make it unavailable to the public until you pay it again Vimeo has been paid for a year so that doesn't come up till October but that was £200 or £195 for the year even my domain name, jasonnewland.com, comes up for uh, re-registering or whatever. On well, it's this month and a few days, I think. Now that's twenty-nine pound. It's continuously. Uh, I mean, this is my life. This is what I do, and everything I do is based upon the website and the online stuff I do promoting the podcasts and pr- promoting my old work and also as well as making new stuff hello mate I'm going to grab him so you can see him hey hello oh hello say hello to everyone hello beautiful Andre this is my boy 
just in case you thought I was talking to myself. It wasn't. I was talking to Andre. Look. That's a nice picture today, actually. Look at that. Look at you. Look at you. Can you see yourself? I don't think he can see himself, because if he could, if he thought there was another ferret there, he would go absolutely wild. Wouldn't you go wild? Look. He said no. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go. Sometimes I've got to let him go, because I hold on to him, and he's wiggling, and I think he's just being annoying or just like you know being awkward but actually sometimes he needs to go to the toilet and it's unfair for me to hold him if he needed to go do a poo or do a wee especially as when he needs to go to the toilet he doesn't get any notice it's suddenly bang gotta run and do it there and then within you know seconds there's no uh, discussion you know, he's not sitting there thinking, all right, Dad, uh, yeah, you know what? We're not having, like, phys philosophical discussions about The Simpsons or something like that. And he says to me, you know, Dad, uh, I'm going to have to do a poo in a minute. I can feel it. I can feel it. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's there. I can feel it. I think I'm going to have to give birth in a minute. Mm. Nothing like that. He, it's really a case of, go to shit. <laughs> Straight away. So yeah, I'm sometimes like that. More information than required. I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna get my eyes tested soon because me my glasses, apart from being a little bit wonky now, I don't know if it's the glasses that are wonky or my face, but uh, my eyesight. A little, not embarrassed, but I'm, I'm just really surprised at how my eyesight has gone downhill over the last few years. It's really not so great. I can see, you know, I can, I can read. It's really more long distance uh, by long distance, not distance. So if I'm sitting in my big black squeaky chair, I can't see the telly. I can see the telly, but it's, it's very distorted. You know, it's, it's not clear. So I need my glasses for that. If I'm reading, it's me without my glasses on, by the way. Hey, you didn't realise that's a handsome little monkey I was, did you? I can, I can't. I've got millions of books behind me, haven't I? This is a good book, Hypnotherapy. Oh, just wipe the cocaine off. Hypnotherapy by Dave Ellman. See, I can read this. You've taken a line of work where the stammering does not interfere. You've got a pretty good indication that you have a severe stammer. And if I'm going to help you, I'll have to give you some simple instructions. If I meet with your assistance, I'm unable to help you. So if you will try to work with me, maybe I can help. And if you try, maybe together we can get someplace. See, I can read. That's what I'm saying. That's the point I'm trying to make, is I can read books. without my glasses. Unfortunately, I just can't see where the books are. <laughs> Unless I put my glasses on. You right, Andre? Right, I'm gonna go. You take care of yourselves, and remember, Jason Newland. No, 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 no. That's the hypnosis stuff. Jasonchats.com. 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 That's my, that's where we are. That's what this is. Jasonchats.com. So I'm going to have to keep remembering that. We'll have to start learning to remember that. Anyway, you take care of yourselves and uh, remember, treat yourself the way that you would like to be treated. Treat yourself the way that you would like to be treated. You take care. See you next time. Uh, say hi if you want, if you want to put a little comment on the website to say hello if you choose. See you later, bye.